We're always talking about how Twitter is like being at a huge party with tons of people. But if you don't have any followers, I'm afraid it's you party of one. Well, that is no fun. So let's talk about how to get you some followers and get this party started. Life is crazy. I mean, who has time to keep up with all the latest in social networking? I'm Carly Noblock, and if you stick with me, I'll show you all the tech tools you need to get socially connected. You've got your Twitter account set up and you're ready to start tweeting, but Zen Master, if you tweet with no followers, does your tweet make a sound? Some people are perfectly happy to use Twitter as a way to read what other people are writing. You could use it to stay informed on current events or celebrity gossip, and that's totally cool. All you need to do is start following people. Now, in the real world, that would be kind of creepy, but being followed and following people is what Twitter is all about. The best place to start figuring out who you'd like to follow is to do a search for things that you're interested in. On the top of your homepage, you'll click on this Discover button. Then enter whatever you want in the search bar like this. Notice these icons. Then you just click this and boom, you're getting news on everything from politics to pop stars. And these blue checks mean that they're the real deal. Twitter has verified these accounts as the actual sources. And if you're following high profile businesses or people, you'll want to look for them or you could be following a fake. Most Twitter handles have a profile and a link to a website, so you can click around and really make sure that you want to hear what they have to say. Hmm, she looks interesting. If I follow her, then all of her tweets will show up in my feed. But mine won't show up in hers unless she follows me back. However, if I reply to something she's written, it'll look like this, and she'll see what I've said even if she's not following me. Yet. Which brings us to getting followed. If you don't have any followers, no one will see your tweets, and that's very sad. So we need to make sure you get some followers so that you can share your shards of brilliance with the world. The best way, once again, is through searches. If you're into cooking and you're following a cooking website, jump into the conversation by replying to other people's tweets. Everyone in the baking section and others who follow that site will see what you've written and they may want to follow you back. In the beginning, it's great to follow a lot of people and start replying to their tweets and jumping into all kinds of conversations. Find your friends and family too and follow them. Hopefully they'll follow you back. The most important thing to remember is to let what you write reflect who you are. So share thoughts, links, photos, or videos that you think are cool, or retweet what other people say that you think is great. In other words, put your best tweet forward. And before you know it, you'll go from Twitter party of one to Twitter party of fun. <laughs> For more information about Twitter, check out our other tutorials at eHowTech. Tweet you later.